He returned the stopper to the decanter and sighed deeply as he picked up the glass. He gently swirled the whiskey and walked across the room to the window. At first, all he could see was the reflection from the fireplace and the lamps in the room. He unbuttoned his jacket and rested his arm on top of the rail of the lower window sash. Now, close enough to see beyond the room's reflection, he gazed at the mountainside. It was a peaceful night. The stars shone brightly and extended to the very edge of the horizon where they met the rolling peak of the neighboring mountaintop. He stood stoically for a few minutes and took a deep breath followed by another large swallow of whiskey. As the fiery liquid ran down his throat, a sound drew his attention away from the window. Across the room, the doorknob began to turn. His eyes bore down on the door with great intensity. It swung open and three men walked in, all dressed as finely as Robert was. It was his brethren, John, William, and George. The three of them were discussing the meeting they'd just had with their leader, Samuel. Robert was genuinely uninterested and turned back to the window. Robert, what do you think of Samuel's plan? George asked, heavily slurring his words. Robert didn't move. He continued swirling his glass of whiskey, his eyes intently focused on the window. Samuel is too full of himself to recognize what a damn fool he really is. Robert said in a stern voice. The room fell quiet. The only sound was the ticking of a large clock in the corner. He still makes a point, though, William said tentatively. Surely you can agree that a paper map is not the safest course of action. Robert took another sip of his whiskey. You are indeed correct, William. A map will never preserve what we have hidden. Samuel's flaw is his hubris. His wife should not hold the key. As much as he believes he has full control over her, he does not. He turned around to address the room. Surely you understand the purpose of these maps is to secure the future of our society beyond our years. If we were only planning for the foreseeable future, no map would be necessary as we know where we have hidden our hordes. However, we know not when that time will come. So we are securing our future beyond our years. As well as we have hidden everything, you must all acknowledge that our treasure also needs to be protected. We know that. Why else would we have sentinels stationed across the country protecting it? George retorted. You were as crazy as Samuel. You idiot. Yes, they are hidden and yes, they are protected. They are protected by sentinels today, but what about tomorrow? What about 100 years from now when we are all dead and gone? We are the architects of the future of the Sovereign Lords. We secure the future of this leadership. How can we guarantee that the Sentinels of generations to come will provide the protection we require? My portion of our horde is right there, nearly visible from the window. Yes, someone looking for it would need my instruction. But what is to stop someone from happening upon it? Say twenty years from now, someone wants to build another hotel, like this one, on that very spot. It will be found. I fear the Sentinels cannot be our only protection for the long-term future. You are correct, William said. We do architect the future of the Sovereign Lords. We direct every action anyone within the KGC takes, including the Sentinels, so we can ensure the ongoing protection of our horde. We can suggest it. We can even demand it. But can we really ensure it for generations to come? No matter what you, I, or even Samuel want for the future, we are not completely in control of it. There is risk. That is a risk I am not comfortable with. What are you suggesting? John asked. We all need to take our own steps to secure our maps and instructions. Samuel has chosen his path, no matter how misguided I think it is. I have my own approach to securing my map and instructions. I urge you all to do the same. Robert swallowed the remainder of his whiskey and turned back to the window. For protection, we need something we can count on no matter what happens. A different kind of sentinel required to keep everything guarded long after we are gone. 